Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video to tell you about some things that are coming up. Um, one thing that is wrong on your schedule and I wanted to tell you. Um, and let you know uh, about a couple other things too. So one, your um, hair contrast papers are all graded. Um, if you do not have a grade uh, and you believe you should, please send me an email and we can get that worked out. But um, all the ones that I had submitted are now graded. So please go in and look at my feedback and look at your overall grade and let me know if you have any questions. Um, the other thing is that your persuasive paper is due Friday, December 4th by 11.59 p.m. So make sure you um, upload that so that I can grade that. And uh, the last thing, the main thing, uh, the thing that I messed up on is that your final exam on our schedule, it says it's Tuesday, December 8th, which is no longer the case. Um, so what the department has decided to do is uh, the final exam is going to be available for three full days. So starting at 12.01 a.m. on December 9th, it will open and it will close at 11.59 p.m. on December 11th. So that means you have all day on the 9th, all day on the 10th, and all day on the 11th um, to access it. So when you decide to access it, you will have two and a half hours to complete the exam. So you don't actually have the three full days, you just have the three full days as like an option, but you really have to carve out two and a half hours um, during that three day span to take your exam. Um, the reason you have two and a half hours is because the department decided that's how much time you get. Um, people don't normally take that much time to do the exam, uh, but you have it because uh, I want you to do a really thorough job uh, looking at the assignment guidelines and looking at the rubric that's all going to be posted for you so you can see exactly how you'll be evaluated and there'll be no surprises. Um, this exam is going to be a reflection of your time in the course and I can't give you specifics but that's what it is. It's a reflection of your time in the course. And on the assignment guidelines, when you're able to open them up and view them, it's going to tell you specifically what has to be um, included in that reflection. Um, and it's just, you know, stuff you'd probably expect, but <laughs> you have to make sure that all of the required elements are included um, to get the best possible score, of course. Um, the other thing is that because this is a reflection, a lot of times people just kind of feel like they can write it as a paragraph, but I do want this to be written out, you know, just like a normal essay. I want an introduction, I want body paragraphs, and I want um, a conclusion. So uh, it's going to be written out like an essay, an essay that sort of takes the form of a reflection of your time in the class. So in that regard, it's really easy. Like, you know, you don't really have to be an expert on anything except yourself and your time in the class. Um, the other thing I want to say about this is this can be an honest reflection. I feel like a lot of times people feel the pressure to, like, when they reflect on their time in the class, like, you know, tell me it was like, you know, the best class of their life and it was life changing and wonderful and amazing. But you don't have to do that. You can give me an honest reflection. You can tell me what you struggled with. You can tell me, you know, be very honest because I don't, you know, uh, this is not an ego boost for me. It's an honest reflection for you. So um, as long as you, you know, hit all the uh, points that you're required to hit, uh, you know, regarding the rubric, um, you write it out like an essay and you submit it on time, uh, you'll do great. So don't even worry about it. Um, so yeah, just wanted to go over that, tell you sort of what to expect and when you can expect it. So to review, go back and look at your compare contrast papers that I graded. And if you have any questions or issues with your grade or lack thereof, if you, some, I didn't get submissions from some of you. So if that was not intentional, let me know so we can get that right before the end of the semester. Um, do your persuasive essay and upload it by December 4th and uh, sometime between December 9th and 11th make sure you are logging in to complete the final exam. As always if you have questions um, email me and let me know and uh, good luck to you guys the rest of the semester. You're almost done. You can do it and I'll talk to you soon. See you later.